Hi friends, is Apex Legends Season 17 the worst season we've had of Apex Legends? Let's talk about it in today's video, and let me know what you think of Season 17 in the comments down below. Let's get started with the stats. As you know, I'm all about the stats on this channel. You can see here in the chart, the player numbers are lower than they've been for a while. In fact, the last time they were this low was around January 2022, so over a year ago. Granted, this is only based on Steam charts, but that's just because those are the easiest figures to get hold of. They don't really publish console player figures. But still, this does give you a good idea of the significant fall in players this season. You'll notice the player numbers have actually been on a downward spiral since the season started, and that's saying something. So let's go back to the start of just before season 17. Things started out promising, hence the good spike in player numbers. We had a new legend in Ballistic who had a great personality and some really cool lore to go with it. On top of that, the three most popular maps were back in the game from the start, World's Edge, Olympus and King's Canyon. There were even map changes to World's Edge, which I actually liked, and sorry to say that to those of you that actually miss Fragment. Of course, there was the introduction of a new rank system, as well as the car reactive skin being in the battle pass, meaning for the first time in a while we got a reactive skin that we might actually make use of. Then we started playing the season and that's when things started to go downhill quickly. People very quickly realised how the rank system actually wasn't quite what they're expecting. Sure, more people were getting to masters easily and a lot of people getting there for the first time ever. And for those of you that are in that situation, I'm sure it felt pretty good when you finally got to Masters. But now that you see a million people have reached Masters, maybe it's not quite as special anymore. And at the very least, given the pred cap so high, probably given you a reason to just not play any more ranked. Add to that the idea of Season 17 being the season of the rat, meaning sometimes in ranked you'd be left to 2v3, or even worse, 1v3 the entire lobby. This just saps the fun out of the experience. Moreover, it seems like they've changed the matchmaking in pubs as well, meaning you get a lot more masters and predators in your lobby, and suddenly you're left with a not so fun experience in rank and pubs. And I guess this just means that season 17 hasn't turned out so great. But wait a minute, maybe the events could save the day, right? Well, unfortunately not. In the two events we've had so far, both have had recycled old LTMs. In fact, the first event we had, the threat level event, just recycled control, which actually was already in the game as part of mixtape. So even though they sold it as bringing an LTM, the reality is they just moved control out of mixtape, and that meant not only did they not give us a new LTM, they didn't really give us an LTM at all. Also, that event didn't even have an heirloom or prestige skin, and the skins worked out way more expensive than a normal collection event. So the first event of Apex Legends Season 17 didn't really deliver anything fun. Then there was the second event of Season 17, the Dress to Kill event. It brought us the big Horizon heirloom, which I'm sure Horizon mains were really happy about, but apart from that, there wasn't much else going on. They did bring an LTM, but again, like I said, it was an old recycled LTM in Armed and Dangerous, which by this point we've had a good few times already. And even though it's one of my favourite LTMs, I just feel a bit sad that we've not really had much new content in these events. And now, with Season 18 only 4 weeks away, it seems like there's only going to be one more event this season, and not much more than that. Now there are rumours this one remaining event will in fact be a lore event, kind of like that Bloodhound Old Ways New Dawn event back in Season 10, which basically had some in-game challenges, and then unlocked a cool lore cinematic. This one for Season 17 is going to be centred around Loba and Revenant, and potentially tee up Revenant Reborn. So if you're into the lore of Apex Legends, I guess that might partially save Season 17 for you. But if you're not into the lore, it seems like there might not be much else for you to get your hopes up for with the rest of Season 17. And that brings us back to the question, is Season 17 the worst season we've had in Apex Legends? Honestly, I think it's fair to say there have been way worse seasons. I mean, Apex Legends has had some shockers in the past. Remember Season 6, when they ruined the whole game with the Evo armor nerf? Or that super long Season 3, which they just kept extending? Or those crazy bugs back in Season 1? I think it's fair to say that Season 17 isn't the worst we've ever had, but I definitely don't think it's the best either. Don't get me wrong, it's not all bad this season. There are certainly some positives, I really like the new firing range, I like Monument, I like the little easter eggs they had across the firing range this season, I even like the battle pass this season. I just think that this season hasn't lived up to expectations. Anyway, like I said, share your feelings on Season 17 in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll catch you later.